I pick up a memory I thought I lost it long ago Remember the freshness Good morning, Sven. Good morning. We are a couple of months into the 2024 and today you deliver the fourth quarter and year end report. And you conclude in the report that it was a successful year 2023. During the quarter, order intake grew, uh, currency neutral with almost 5%. Sales was in par with Q4 last year, and uh, the adjusted EBITDA ended above compared to last year's uh, high 10%. So, and, the, and you also improved earnings per year per share. If we start with 2023, it was a successful year. How would you like to summarize it? Now, I think you already gave a summary. We had growth uh, in all areas. We had growth in profitability in, in uh, three out of four uh, uh, divisions. Uh, uh, despite, and I would say going back, despite the challenging environment, we, we have to acknowledge there has been uh, a lot of uh, turmoil in macroeconomics. There has been uh, uh, political problems, we have war, we have all of that. Uh, still, we've been able to uh, grow and we have been able to deliver new solutions that has been appreciated by the market. So for that, I thank all the staff in Nederman for the dedicated work to make uh, life better. And as we say, every time we sell something, we make the world a little bit better. And uh, this year we have contributed to make the world much better since we have grown both sales and, uh, uh, and coming up with new uh, solutions. You improved the beta margin in, in the quarter, if we go back to the fourth quarter. For the whole year, Nederman delivered 150 million sec more, and you're getting closer to the target of 14 percent EBITDA. I guess you're gl glad about this development. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And uh, it's uh, important for us uh, to continue to have profitable growth. It's a mantra uh, within the uh, group that uh, we should continue to grow, but we cannot forget that it has to be profitable. And uh, again, we have uh, quite some uh, steps to take uh, further in order to reach our target. But again, we should always have a stretch target to uh, focus. Uh, and um, what we see is uh, partly a growth in uh, the sales volume, but also efficiency related uh, profitability gains. Uh, like we are investing in uh, new equipment, new factories. We have inaugurated a new, uh, not new, but uh, a severely extended factory in Thomasville for duct and filter. We are during the spring moving Robovent into new facilities uh, where we are also investing in new production equipment. We are in the late autumn this year, 2024, moving the Helsing Boy factory and also opening a new development center. So we are focused on these efficiency gains internally. And it's not only machinery, but it's also the digitalization with the ProQuote that has been launched there in the EFT division, maybe in some others etc. We have also got further uh, recognition at the exhibitions for our digital offering, uh, the save system, etc. etc. So I think all this together, it's not one big uh, giant leap, it's uh, small steps to, um, of improvement overall. It's obvious Nerman works with clean air, but I also know that uh, energy saving is, is an important uh, area for your customers and you have launched new products in, within that area. Yeah, because it costs energy to clean the air. And of course, with the energy situation, uh, this part has been more in focus over the last few years. Uh, cost of energy, 
is significantly higher and uh, therefore it's uh, very important and a lot of our new development uh, uh, we have launched uh, for instance a new fan for the duct and filter for the textile industry saving energy we have the energy save system we have yeah we have a, a different and it continues we will also during the year start some development project to uh, revive uh, some ideas and uh, uh, on how can you design your filters and uh, but again it's not a revolution it's an evolution and we are taking a role in that and gradually be slightly better every day it seems quite obvious that i mean the nedema strategy is supported by by the global trends to protect people planet and production uh, you, you and the team have a strategic focus on, on strategic, strategic growth segment, as you call them. What do you mean by that and how is it going? No, but we, uh, we have, it's not that we are abandoned. We have a clear focus to be number one. Uh, could sometimes accept be number two, but uh, that hurts. So we have created positions, not only in welding, in, uh, in textile, in spinning, in weaving, uh, etc. We will continue that journey to add new applications and segments uh, where we can be the expert helping these industrial experts with the clean air concept, helping them to clean the air in their processes. Having said that, with a situation where you have some decline in some traditional segments, we have also focused now to widen a little bit to be stronger in general dusk and we are definitely leading in explosive dust, combustible dust and so on. And we are continuing to roll and add, not being wild and crazy because we still want to develop areas where we are number one, number two in selected areas and geographies. But again, you have battery industry, you have recycling industry that has been growing and is growing. So when traditional industries are sort of more steady pace or decline, we try to find others where our technology can be used. And you utilize the existing products and, and competence Absolutely. into these areas. And Absolutely. So you mentioned some product developments or launches and in, in the report you also mentioned Nedema Save. Any other uh, any other products? You we have successfully launched in, uh, or our colleagues in, in our gasmet division has uh, a new portable uh, uh, measurement which you can carry. It's still not so, uh, you put in the pocket something you have as a rucksack, uh, but it's uh, it's portable and it's very well received in market with the growth. We have, as I mentioned before, the new fan for uh, textile industry, saving energy. It is uh, some more of, of our insight and further development of the usability and uh, interfaces and how we can use it. So it's, um, that's a number of them. My colleagues have to forgive me for having forgotten some on this uh, list. A lot of things are happening and, and uh, 2023 has ended and now we are a few months into 2024. You have a strong order book going into 2024 or had a strong order book going into 2024. So what is your expectations? How do you view 2024 with the uncertainty that obviously exists? Uh, there is, uh, of course, an uncertainty. And if you listen to all uh, predictions, it's going to be a tough year. Uh, we have a slightly lower order book, uh, 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 but we still have a very strong position. I believe that we have taken market share during 2023. Uh, our new products and offerings has been very well received by market. So even though there might be a bit of a 
uh, slowdown or hesitancy to take on large projects. We have seen that in the latter part of last year. I think that we can get, a, our share should be larger. So I believe that we have the ability, unless some black swan, whatever that would be, uh, create a situation where business goes to zero like a new pandemic or something. I have a cautiously optimistic uh, view on uh, this year in 2024 that we will continue to release new products to new systems and um, that will help us sail through the uh, rough waters that might uh, occur 2024. With that, I thank you for this meeting and, and wish you good luck. Thank you very much. Let's sing for the good ones and all the ones we 